and we're back with another episode of Raw Recap. Number two. With Ashley, Melissa, Justin, and here we go. On what we feel about what happened with Monday Night Raw. And, I mean, there's a lot of things to say about this. Oh, man. With the shield, and Braun Strowman, and the Ziggler, special person coming back, coming to yeah, Raw. Mick Foley. Um, Missy's a little disappointed. Yeah. But she's always disappointed. <laughs> no. Um, but... Dunkin' Donuts screwed up your, your order again. <laughs> You want extra chocolate filling in your donuts, but they only give you a little bit. No. But anyway, we got Kevin Owens complaining. Um, Braun Strowman. And all that. And then we got the bone doings. We got all that. But right now in the beginning, it was, uh, of course, started off Ziggler and Drew McIntyre and Strowman. Welcome to everybody in the... Behind them, make sure the shield don't go after them. Up and guess who was bringing up their ear? Kevin Owens. Because <laughs> he sucks. But, yeah, and. But what they didn't realize after they were yapping, yapping their mouth, but. The shield, the appeal. shield appeared. Going down that ramp and attack everyone with them. Dean's coming out with. Weapons, hit, getting them to each of the members and hitting them and hitting them. It was awesome. And then Seth Rollins do dove. Oh, yeah. Really Woo! Cool. Right on over. And then three three of them just sitting there at the top of the ramp watching. Watch them as they see that. Yeah, but you know, it's funny how how um, Braun Strowman put uh, Kevin Owens to the porter potty, but then all of a sudden he's with him now. Like, yep. what the heck is up with that? Mm-hmm. He's a bad guy now. Yep. Remember, Raw's Even though Braun's bad, he's still my favorite. Yeah. You can't hate Braun Strowman. Get these hands. Remember, runs, Raw's run by the You know who needs to be in the porta potty? Constable Corbin. He needs to be put in there. <laughs> That'd be an awesome thing to see. Since Constable Corbin now answers to Stephanie McMahon, does that count as Raw's owned by the authority? Hmm. I have no idea. But now we have... They showed a little thing with the Bella Twins going into their locker room and seeing how the Riot Squad trashed their room. So, that easily tells you that they were out of match. But also, um, they were going to have him, uh, the constable is telling them to leave and all that. Oh, yeah. But that's, that's just the shield. Yeah, but it was funny how uh, Dean threw it. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was awesome. But... but after the little Nikki Bella moment with the locker room, it came like she was saying, but the shield talking with Constable Baron Corbin. Saying, and they had sticks in their hands. Saying they need to drop the weapon and... Pretty much leave. If they didn't leave, they would lose get, their Get arrested titles. and lose titles and all that. And of course, Dean being all hyper. <clears throat> and they had to pull back Seth in. had to calm him down. Yeah. But, yeah. That was funny. <laughs> How he, <laughs> each of them dropped their sticks. Mm. But, yeah. And it went to the Nikki and, and Brie versus it was the Riot Nick, Squad. It was Nikki Bella versus Ruby Riot. And Liv Morgan tried, she tried to help Ruby Riot. But Brie stopped her and Rack Attack. Number two goes to Ruby Riot, and that makes Nikki one. I mean, the mm. Riot Squad should have won because how long have Nikki and Brie been out of wrestling for Raw or SmackDown for a while? I gotta remember. Shouldn't their skills be a little rusty? I mean, I could understand that. Yes, you need the Bella Twins to actually have a ma uh, win a, a match. So that they could be relevant and stuff. But, I mean, if they did lose to the Riot Squad once, then it would be an actual good match to be at, at Hell in a Cell. But at least see them, you know, get another chance to fight. Because mm. now, like, doing this, it bumps the Riot Squad down to B-list superstars. 
Yeah. I think a horse. Got this. Okay. Got the ink. All sorts of pain with that little twerpy dude. <laughs> talking manager. in the back. Talking in the back before they start their match. Saying you're going to get them. You're going to get them. Of course they're going to get them. They want to get the local talent team. Like I said before. Stop with the local talent. Like, like I said in my other video, they gotta like change the matches up. They gotta switch the things to go against each other. That, they, they, stop going against the same people. Change like, it up. Like local talent, you know they're gonna win. You got some people from NXT. Bring those guys in. Why don't you just mix lose? NXT inside? Like that'd be awesome. All of it together. NXT even in it. Like oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, change it up. Instead of fucking putting um, NXT down and then go up, just put them all together. That would be pretty interesting. Next. Now you got Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre versus the B Team. Go, go, go! They won. For a rematch for the titles. But, you know. Dolph Ziggler and, and McIntyre won. Of course. They won. Of course they would. They're going to get their rematch at. Um, no, no, they're not getting their rematch. They're not getting a rematch because Baron Corbin made uh, Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre go against Seth Rollins and the Ambrose for the Raw Tag Team titles at Hell in a Cell. Which is kind of messed up because doesn't that break the rule of, you know, they beat the original title holders, shouldn't they get a rematch before no. the new guys? Uh -oh. The B team already had the rematch, so that's what that was. But then, uh. Wait, then the B team and, uh. What? Seth came out. Yeah. That was, um. I turned this, I was just getting there. Alright, next. So, yep, Drew and. No. Damn it. Dean and Seth. Came intact after that match with the B team, and that's why Dolph and she was complaining and made that match because he wanted to make Stephanie happy, make a good mm. spot. <laughs> then you got Owens talk about Bobby Lashley and blah blah blah. We all know about Kevin Owens not getting his way and all that and everything. Wah. Wah, wah. I lost. I lost, I lost to Bobby Lashley. Wah. It's his fault that my best friend is on the shelf. Wah. 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 And then, of course, we got that rare team again. Bobby Roode and Chad Gable versus The Ascension again. Like, here we go again. They went against they, each other last time. Now they're going again. Change it up. Yes. We're, they already won, won against them. They can go against someone else. There we go. And they won again. But, they, like I said, they need to change them up. Bring in some new ones or switch it up. Like, yeah. So that put the same routine. Change the story. And, um, what was it? Was there anything before that match? All they mm -hmm. kept saying was that there was going to be the Predator trailer. Throughout the whole paper, though. I don't know if there was anything be before Ronda's match. Um, no. Nah. Was there? I remember the something about um they Dean and Seth went into the the. Van no, Ford. it was no, it was the the um Connor's Cure Kids. Yes, they had that out. They had the Connor Kids and all that with the with Connor's Cure with Big Show. That was oh, that was a nice thing. Yeah, it was so cute. The cute scene on the little entrances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Little, he always got to he always got to help Connor's cure. All right, the Ronda match. Okay, okay. Ronda Rousey and Natalia versus Alexa Bliss and Mickey James with Alicia Fox. Yeah, but of course, Ronda, Ronda, Ronda Rousey, Rousey and Natalia won. She made uh, Mickey James tap, and then Bliss tried to you know. Kick her in the ribs and make Ronda Rousey's... Give her, soften her up for a Sunday. Hip so probably can make her more sore. 
the, from the Sunday at Helen's Cell. You know what would be funny? They put her and Alexa Bliss in a Hell in a Cell match. Let's see Ronda Rousey tear that tear her up. Uh, that would be fun to see. It would be fun to see just her just toss Bliss through the cage, put her on the top, toss her off the top of the cage into the table, <laughs> give her a Mick Foley moment. Yeah. And then Alexa Bliss shows up Monday with a Mick Foley mask and she's all crazy and she's like, she's talking to a sock on her hand. Yeah. yeah but I say. <laughs> then, you know that would be bad. Kind of, kind of like with AJ Lee when she was all crazy. Oh yeah. Wasn't AJ Lee always crazy? <laughs> she was. I liked AJ Lee. And then they have Elias, Elias, doing this stupid thing with the guitar and the whatever, and Lisa yeah, Shane and, came and, and legend Mick Foley interrupted him. Oh yeah, it was and awesome. talking. About him saying everything and how he was messing and this and that. Wait, we forgot the Triple H promo. Oh, yeah. But hold on, let me finish this one. But Mick Foley made a match, but, but he didn't do Yusako. Yeah, that he was did. that's the sad part. She, I was hoping to, him to give him the Sako. He really needed to be sh something shoved in his mouth. But, yeah, Mr. He, Sacco's retired, remember that. I don't care, you can bring him up out of the works. You can't, he's yes, retired. bring it up, make it sure it's an old smelly one, make he sure Mr. Is, Sacco's smelly and old, and he, cram it down Elias' throat so this way he can't sing. He is uh, retired. And then he'd be death with Elias. And then instead of walking <laughs> with Elias, he'd be death with Elias, because every time he tried to talk, he'd be sm uh, he'd smell his Sacco coming out of his mouth. Missy, we smelly know you Sacco. Like, we know you like Elias. No, I don't. Uh, I hate Elias. Then why'd you not... buy his album? I didn't buy his album. I checked your phone. It was on iTunes. You bought it. I don't it. Own, have anything on iTunes or anything like that. <laughs> I hate Elias. Missy, And then we've seen well, your private stuff. He Ew. made Elias versus Finn Balor. That was awesome. That was an awesome match. But Balor came in. He won. Yes. <laughs> so, yay! Kicked freaking Finn Balor. I mean, he actually did a, kicked Elias' ass. I think ass. he did a quick little pin and then rolled out of the ring because he won. Yep. Well, Finn Balor should have used the but, Mr. Sacco. Yeah, but... Mick Foley should have gave Mr. Sacco to Finn, and there you go. Then yeah. you would have been happy. As what Justin said, or that Triple H promo. That's Triple H coming out, talking about how HPK and the Undertaker thing, about everybody voted more for Undertaker to beat Triple H at Super... Sh Star Super so Showdown. The and, Australian thing. And he said, that's, that's just, that's not to get him upset. He knows it's all whatever. To get so, him motivated. He just knows he's got a fight on his hands. Well, he'll be coming uh, next how Monday. Many, no, how many times are they going to do on this? Taker. Yeah. I don't know. No, how many times are they going to do this? If someone says it's going to be the last time, it was supposed to be for the last time. Now, what's going to happen? What, are they going to keep doing this while Triple H and Undertaker are on the IV machines and they're just what, battling out and walking canes and all that stuff? I don't know. And throughout the show, Braun Strowman... Uh, huh? Huh. Undertaker is coming next week. Didn't he come out? He already came out on yeah, Monday. Yeah, we thought some other legends going to come out next week, but now Undertaker's coming back. Probably have words for Triple H. So, but also through all the raw, like she Missy said, Braun Strowman, Braun Strowman is kept looking for, looking for Roman Reigns. Yep. Just trying to tack his way through, just trying to look, and then in his interview, he's the one lady said, "Just wait for him. Wait for him. Come out." He there. was throwing trash cans. He was throwing people. <laughs> Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Where is Roman Reigns? Yeah, and she's like, oh man, what is he, he gonna... He choked out a guy. She's like, oh man, what, what is it, what's Braun gonna do? Is he gonna throw Roman, my man, into the porta potty like Owens? Yeah, I thought he was gonna do that, because I like Roman and I also like Braun Strowman, so it's kind of, it's toss up between two awesome guys, but Roman always gonna be number one. Yeah, I like Dean. Dean was actually 
also earlier doing the same thing. We were standing. <laughs> Alright, what was the main event? And the ending, Braun Strowman coming out, and he's calling out Roman Reigns, call, calling him a coward, calling, saying he's a coward, doesn't want to come. What t Universal Champion is that, and all that. And then he got him in a hell in a cell, and all of a sudden you hear Roman Reigns music hits. And then up by the and he's thing. standing on the announce table, so holding his belt. holding the belt up, and Strowman's walking up the ramp. He sees him, he's coming to him, and Superman punch. He's fighting him, he's fighting him. Braun got him down, and all, and all of a sudden, and Roman yep. does a Samoan drop. It was awesome. Right through, uh, man. Yep, went poof. And he just stands tall with the title. So. Yep. Yep, and that's pretty much Monday Night Raw. And what I've well, if I had to give a star rating on Monday Night Raw, I think I would give it... What? What would it be? Like, out of out what? Of, out of 10. Say something out of 10. Nah, that's too generous. Out of... 1 out of 5. Nah, I'll do 1 out of 10. It's 1 out of 5. I would say a 6 or a 7. Yeah, probably. 6 or a 7. Probably about a 7. i say 5. Five, okay, five. I said six. She says seven. For the rating for this Monday Night Raw. So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you want some more Raw recap. And bye. Bye.